Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Green Thumb Chronicles. As you probably all figured out by now, we do a lot more than grow uh, fruits and vegetables and medicinal plants. We actually, uh, oh, look at that, Johnny's house. That's, uh, you know, Johnny's house. That's my house. Giovanni, Johnny, my son, did a lot of music over the years. And now they have a radio station called Johnny's House. Anyway, let's skip the formalities. I just wanted to get right to it. You can buy, and this is for air conditioning um, reboot or boost, assuming you don't have any leaks anywhere in the system that are detrimental or your pump stopped working or your compressor um, or your fans or what else? Um, the condenser, I said the condens condenser, but major leaks, there's something called an evaporator. Uh, all kinds of stuff can go wrong with an air conditioning system. But assuming your air conditioning system just needs to have a little more Freon added to it, this is the simplest video I will ever make. You can buy this AC Pro right here. And it has its own nozzle. And it's very simple to put on your vehicle. Um, and of course, I don't have to go through the temperature reading gauges and everything like that. You know what's hot inside that vehicle. Um, it's 100 degrees outside in Florida and you have, uh, you know, no air conditioning. So the first thing you want to do is come over here, turn on your car and turn the AC up as far as up as it'll go. There it is right there. I've got the AC. This is an old prelude that I've had laying around since 1998. I still work on it almost daily. And yeah, everybody wants to um, shoot me for it because it costs money to keep a car laying around the yard like that. But there it is, the AC is up full blast. Then you come over here and you find the low side of your air conditioning uh, hoses. And there they are. And you will see the low side of this one it just tells you right on top of that little cap and low means uh, you know it's got a low pressure I believe and uh, then there's a high one so somewhere in there there's a high pressure but here's your condi uh, air conditioning hoses right here every car is different but they make these pretty accessible I've never opened mine up and there it is so it's really easy you just take your um, Freon that you bought at Walmart you put the little cap right on there and you plug it on. I pull it back, push it down. There it is. It's on. Then uh, you've got this um, gauge right here. Now the reason why I'm doing this vehicle because I did two others uh, for different reasons. They just were not blowing cold enough. Is because this vehicle, the uh, air conditioning was not coming through all of the um, vents. So. If you have a problem like that occasionally, you will have to uh, jack it up. And as you can tell, it's reading around uh, 30, and it should be around 40, 45, or 50 even. So I'm gonna press the handle, shake this thing back and forth, upside down, that's how you do that. Upside down and let go, and it, did it do anything? No, but the bottle did get cold in my hand. And here we go, you go from, I think it's like from 11 o'clock to three o'clock, back and forth um, and it does get cold as you go and you do this for a few minutes as the um, as the um, Freon goes inside and now this one is reading a little more I don't know a little less actually so go figure I will keep doing this assuming there's no other leak anywhere else and I haven't caused any problems from 11 to 3 o'clock, you're shaking this thing back and forth. And, um, well, maybe it had to adjust. Maybe it had to go to the um, 30 pounds per square inch uh, spot because, you know, it had to do an adjustment once you put this cap on the... Uh, so there it is, it went up a little bit. The compressor kicks on and off, and you see the uh, air conditioner come on and off. So, yeah, that could be... Um, Maybe, uh, you know, sometimes you have these like, switches inside your air conditioning system that, um, you know, they go on and off. So you have low side, high side. Um, so assuming your switches are all okay, this should go right up to, you know, a good amount. 
to where it's a little better than it was before and there it is it's uh, when the air conditioner kicks on it goes up to around 45 so yeah I'll do this one more time assuming I'm not doing anything that will be a detriment to the uh, vehicle back and forth back and forth pretty simple then you read your gauge if it's in the green zone I think you're okay um, it is going up and down so that's probably normal for a car that you know has a low and high side so I'm going to um, undo the plug there it is uh, put the cap right back on so that we don't lose anything there and uh, turn it off let's see how cold it is or if it's blowing through the other vents that was my main purpose on this vehicle was to um, see that you know it was actually going to blow through more than just that one vent on the driver's side so here I am and lo and behold it's like ice in here I don't know if the uh, vent problem has been adjusted or fixed but it is darn cold in here but this car has always had a pretty good air conditioner go figure 98 prelude better air conditioner than my newer vehicles that I have sitting in the driveway well that's it guys green thumb chronicles um, check it out talk to you soon